daily Schaefer blast for today, the first day of Elul, a month before Rosh Hashanah, 40 days before Yom Kippur. Schaefer blasts happened many times throughout Jewish history, including famous moments like the giving of the Torah, but perhaps the most moving shofar is yet to come. The prophets tell us, It will be on that day, A great shofar will be sounded, not just any shofar, but shofar gadol, a great shofar. asher, and then those that are lost will return from Assyria. Those that have been abandoned will come back from Egypt. And they will return to Jerusalem together with the rest of the Jewish people and prostrate themselves on the Temple Mount. It's a powerful verse that talks about a time where all Jewish people will be inspired by the shofar. Jewish mysticism says that the regular shofar of today inspires Jews that have somewhat of a relationship to Judaism, to Torah, and therefore all they need is the regular shofar to get them in the high holiday spirit, to draw them a little bit closer to Hashem, because it is something that is already on their radar. But sadly, there are those to whom the regular shofar does not suffice. And the prophet words it by saying those that are either found in Ashur or in Mitzrayim, literally Assyria or Egypt. But symbolically, Ashur is related to Ashir, richness, materialism. Those that are so caught up in the physical lives that they sadly do not have the spiritual sensitivity to be touched by the regular shofar and will only be the shofar gadol of futuristic times that will impact them or those that are in Mitzrayim symbolically referring to those who tragedies, misfortunes have happened to them to the point that they were crushed they just are not receptive to the regular shofar and yet in the day yet to come there will be this shofar gadol that will be so powerful that every single Jew will return to Jerusalem and return to their Judaism. That is the meaning of the verse that I've often heard, but I know this year, when we recite that verse, the verse might mean something else as well, that our regular shofar that is sounded in our shuls and in our schools and in our homes, yes, it's heard by many, many Jews and hopefully will inspire them in their hearts. Tragically, there are Jews who are unable to hear the shofar this year because they are locked up as hostages in Gaza or they are on the battlefields in the trenches protecting Am Yisrael. They physically cannot hear the regular shofar that is being sounded. Or tragically, those grieving mothers and fathers and bubbies and zaydis that are emotionally not able to listen to the regular shofar this year. As we say these words, Yitaka Beshofar Gadol, we're crying out to Hashem that this should be the year where the great shofar is sounded, the shofar that will inspire, uplift, and bring back every single Jew and ushering in a world of redemption, of healing, of only joy, a place where there will be no war, no evil, no death.